Hi, Eugene. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for being here to be our user for testing、um, our new app. And、um, as you know, that's an event planning app, so you could based on what you need and plan event. So the first scenario is you recently got engaged and are about to start your wedding planning process. You are going to use the new event planning app to help you keep things organized. You haven't used it before, so you will need to set up a account to get things going. So can you show me how to set up account? Okay, so I'm gonna go to create new profile. Let's create a new one. Okay, and then I'm going to go enter a username and a password and create.、Mm -hmm. I believe that's the next step because you're gonna do a wedding. You probably need to create a new event. And then create a new event in my account.、Mm -hmm. I'm gonna select wedding here, and then done. And enter a date. Enter Minneapolis. Press done. And I think the、uh, maybe these two buttons should be reversed. Because、mm -hmm. it seems like this should be over here. The done button should be on the right.、Mm -hmm. Or maybe use next instead of. Because it seems like right, each steps is different. And、um, yeah. when we go to the budget, and then、I'm、set up a budget.、Mm -hmm. Enter my budget here. Select done. Okay, probably we finish the first scenario. Um, the second one is you want to search for available forest in the area and would like to see what options are out there. You don't have a lot, the experience with flowers or where to go. So, um, in that situation, what you gonna do with this map? Okay, so. Oh, that's a page of mine. Okay, so I'm on the floral vendors.、Mm -hmm. I'm gonna restrict by location.、Mm -hmm. Type in your location. Type in yeah. Type in my location and hit done. And then these are my floral options I have here.、Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay, so it goes to the number three, and there are handfuls of flowers that you are interested in and would like additional information about. You would like to save these options and share with a few family member to get feedback. So I guess I would favorite. The vendors here, and then I can share right here. But maybe, maybe、um, it would be better to have a button that just said "Share Favorites" instead of having a share on each one. You would just、mm -hmm. select your favorites and then、mm -hmm. hit a button to share your favorites. I believe we have a favorite page. Maybe.、Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe you click here. Yeah. After that, you could after you click、right. what you would share with. Right. Right, but maybe have it all like you know just 
select all favorites and then share instead of having to share individually. Oh, yeah. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, that goes to the next questions. You want to get more details, information, and specific price beyond what is listed on your favorite flowers page. So it's basically you want to get more information on that particular florist store that you are interested in. Okay. So we go to vendor details. Mm -hmm. So this would give me a little bit more information about them here. Mm -hmm. And um, looks like there's a email link here. Is that what this is? Mm -hmm. So if oh, I have... Oh, it's a website. Oh, yeah. Oh, then I can go to inquiries and if I need more information, more specific information, I could click here and send them an email or something. Mm -hmm. Any suggestion on this page? Or? Um, no, I don't think so. Not that I can think of. Okay. Um, the next scenario is you have received code from your top choices or forwards and have decided to move forward with one of them. When you spoke with the forest, they provide, provided you with a detailed list of products and finalized price based on your requirements. They gave you a confirmation call at the same time to reference that specific call. So what are you going to do next based on that? Probably so we we'll go... Probably it's the first one, first link. I probably want to review my quote here. Um, oh, I think uh, you need to go to the first page first because that's they give you a confirmation code and you're supposed to tie in here and then you click okay. submit. So I submit the confirmation code and then review my quote here. And then if everything looks okay, accept. And then enter my payment information here and submit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the last one is after booking the forest, you are right to review your budget to make sure you haven't exceeded your limit overall for the specific window type. You would like to see if you are under budget or if those funds can be allocated to another part of your budget. So it relates to the budget division. Mm -hmm. So I would go to budget tracker and, and I can review <coughs> which uh, how much I spend on each uh, category in my budget mm -hmm. here and look at my overall budget here. Okay. Do you have any suggestion for our event planning app overall? Not really, just the minor things with the maybe changing the buttons and changing the order of the buttons, maybe changing from done to next and um, having a a single share share all or share favorites button instead of sharing in individual vendors mm -hmm. so That'd you make more sense so you think this app is easy to use like easy to figure out where to go or you think it's Difficult or any? No, it's pretty straightforward. 